Thank you for allowing us to join your conversation for the remainder of Domain 4. Yes, we know that professional responsibilities are important and we can all improve in this area. Domain 4A is used during the post-observation. Domains 4B, maintaining accurate records, 4C, communicating with families, and 4F, showing professionalism are rated during the evaluation. This occurs once or twice a year, depending on the teacher category. Let's go through each component and brainstorm evidence we can use to provide to the evaluators. Great idea. I was thinking for maintaining records we can take advantage of the Encore system, and use more of its capabilities. Right now I use the attendance and grading system. You mean there is more? Yes, I have begun using the website resource, and am able to update my parents and students weekly. I am also able to upload documents so students have access at home, as well. I like the document feature because I give students one hard copy and then they are responsible if that paper is lost. They know they can always go on my website. What about students who do not have access at home? There are computers here at school. My students know they can use. There are also student portfolios used in my classroom. I use student portfolios. Students keep work in them and I also keep anecdotal notes in them. These are also forms of keeping records. To recap, teachers demonstrate 4C by maintaining accurate records through evidence or artifacts. These may include grades, inventories, as well as results of assessments. In addition, we need to show that we keep accurate records of non-instructional information, such as keeping track of permission slips and possibly maintaining accurate records using a receipt book when collecting money. Some of the features in, on course, also help provide evidence for 4C, communicating with families. As the African proverb states, it takes a village to raise a child. One thing that has stayed the same throughout my many years of teaching is, when I can enlist the help of families in the education process, student learning is enhanced. It used to be notes home and phone calls, now I can text, email post weekly updates on my website, and still the most powerful tool, is face-to-face -face conversations with families. Teachers can demonstrate communication with families in many ways, such as keeping copies of class newsletters, website updates, back-to-school night handouts, as well as descriptions of new programs being implemented within the school or classroom. Yes, this collection could include guidelines for parents on how to review on-course information or how to review portfolios. I have a letter I send home explaining ways families can encourage students to complete homework. I also, encourage, families to utilize websites such as, Compass Odyssey. In addition, I keep a log, of phone calls and personal contacts with families. I contact families with concerns as well as successes. Now let's discuss component, 4, F. Showing professionalism. The quote from Danielson's work that really stood out for me, on professionalism was this. Highly professional teachers never forget that schools are, not institutes, run for the convenience of the adults who work in them. Instead, the purpose of schools is to educate students. These educators care deeply for the well-being of their students, and mobilize whatever resources are necessary for them to be successful. What a profound statement. Teachers are advocates of their students. Ways to show professionalism include complying with district regulations and procedures, as well as the Code of Ethics. This can be found on the DOE website. Punctuality, dress code, completion of reports in a timely fashion are all ways to demonstrate professionalism. I can see now that I will have to dress professionally. I did not realize the importance of my appearance in the school. Yes, we are all role models. In short, it is our display of professional ethics, in daily interactions with students, and colleagues, that demonstrate professionalism. I look forward to more of these conversations. Me too. See you all soon.